guys, it's Lance Bass, and you're watching Rocco on Fashion News Live. Welcome to Fashion News Live. I'm your host, Rocco, and I'm here with Lance Bass. Lance, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing great, Rocco. How are you doing? I'm doing good. It's always amazing to see you, and I, I enjoy chatting with you and seeing you. I like your look. I like your hair. And Why, thanks. I know. It's, it's hard. When you're, when you're in New York, you have to get used to the water again, so my hair doesn't <laughs> stick up as much, so there's so much hairspray in this thing. It's ridiculous. Touch my hair. All right. Ooh, yeah, yeah, I got oh, a lot of... You win. Yeah. <laughs> you win. You win. <laughs> so what are you wearing tonight? Uh, well, actually, just a whole hodgepodge of stuff. Of course, I have my Tumblr and Tipsy Bone here, and they provided me with their nice shirt. You know, they're more into the ladies, but, you know, they got the hey, guys' hey, stuff. Why not? And uh, I think this might be Zara. That works. It looks yeah, great on you. Yeah, with my nice new, uh, I think these are Hugo Boss skinny jeans. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I have no clue what these shoes are, but I really like them a lot. Yeah, they really look great. Yeah. So tell me, what have you been up to? Oh, a lot of stuff. I mean, I've been producing TV. I have a show coming out Lifetime next year. Uh, and mainly uh, what I'm doing in New York is launching my new Sirius XM radio show uh, on Thursday. So we're live every afternoon when you drive home, 6 to 8 Eastern time, called Dirty Pop with me, Lance Bass. I like that. Yeah. I like that. So you came out of the closet, right? And you were in the closet for a long time. What advice would you give to other people? Like, they're afraid of their father kicking them out. They're afraid of the um, the reaction in their circle of friends or the yeah. circle of school. How how can how can one deal with these serious issues? Um, well, first off, find that best friend that you can trust to tell your secret to. It always starts with one person, and once you tell one, it goes to another. Um, if you're scared of what your parents might do, it's always great to call the Trevor Project. You know, it's anonymous. Uh, it's amazing they have people there that can talk you through every step of the way. Um, so, I mean, there's so many people out there willing to help. You just have to just, just give them a call. And call who again? The Trevor Project. And then how would someone get that information? Uh, Google Trevor Project. I think it's like 866 for trevor okay. It's one of those, but don't quote me on that one. But, yeah, Google Trevor Project, and uh, it'll have all the numbers. And then a while back, you were supposed to go to space. Yeah. And what happened with uh, that? Uh, well, two weeks before launch, my mission got scrapped over insurance. Uh, I was there doing a big, uh, it's going to be a documentary of the youngest person going to space. So after my seven months of training and becoming a cosmonaut, it all went downhill two weeks before launch. And you said, Nick Terjo, not good. But, you know, I got certified and I can go at any moment. So, you know, there, there might be a mission in the future that maybe I can hop on. Great. Now, how, how did you feel when you found out two weeks before the uh, launch, after so much dedication of getting your body mentally, physically, everything ready to go up in yeah, space? No, it was devastating for sure. You know, as a little kid, I was I dreamed to be an astronaut. So, uh, you know, right before I was about to go to the Baikonur, Kazakhstan, <laughs> and launch, you know, to space, um, I you know I was told that it's probably not going to happen. So, you know, but it. I felt like I did it already because I did so much training. Um, so, I, some part of me, you know, just feels like I already did it. Now, do you miss? music do you miss being in the band do you miss the traveling do you miss I, your colleagues i mean I, I i see the guys all the time i i miss performing on stage with the guys for sure but i'm always going to be in music you know i have this radio show now you know i get to see the guys a lot i'm gonna toy around with a solo uh, album next wow. year yeah my first one since in sync so uh i get to get back in the studio which is gonna be fun thank you so much for your time all it's right. always a pleasure seeing you, you too, man. absolutely Definitely. thank you for watching fashion news live and stay tuned as we continue showcasing the best of the best right here at new york fashion week Spring Summer 2013. This presentation has been brought to you by RLG Productions.